Peyton Manning then in Dr. Tom with you today. Uh, I, I mean by myself, uh, this is all uh, doing something with some, uh, I was told not to use the word whore anymore because that's not a nice word. Uh, he often, when I mean, somebody who, uh, let's see, uh, I really can't think of another word for a whore. Um, we can say he's often somebody who is very loose with their, uh, with their favors. Uh, but, but let's see here, um, so I'm gonna read these here emails that we had come in and gonna, uh, kind of answer them a little bit. Uh, let's see here. Uh, question number one comes from... Sandra, hey Sandra, how you doing? Uh, and she called, and she from Amarillo, Texas. Uh, and she asked uh, me, she says, Dr. Tom, why do I hear grunting coming from Mama and Daddy's room? Well, see, see, that's pretty easy, because they in there getting down and getting mini. Uh, they, they may tell you they, uh, wrestling, uh, but they, they not really wrestling, nor fighting. Uh, they're not really, uh, doing anything like that. They, uh, they trying to make you a little brother or a little sister. Uh, who knows, they could be making the most of them. <laughs> yeah, uh, but saying, uh, um, you probably need to go watch some cartoons when something like that's going on. And, uh, if the, if the grunting and all is really loud, um, don't go back there and open up the door because you probably see something you don't want to see. Um, but turn on the TV really loud or turn on the music, okay? Uh, that might help. Go outside, but don't look in the window. Again, you might see something you don't want to see. Let's see, um, question number two comes from Caitlin in that, what's that only hard name for me to say? I mean, these people, don't you know? Uh, anyway, Caitlin comes from Jackson, Jackson, uh, Mississippi. I know, I'm going to start calling you by your name in, in your, uh, you know, don't mind it, because some of them pretty hard to say for me. Uh, but she asked, uh, Dr. Tom, what is my great, great grandfather's name? Well, they that there easy. Um, his name is Randy. Um, you might think it's something else, whatever your great, great grandmama say. But she was probably a whore to me. I'm not supposed to say whore, but I just said it. I guess I just said it now. But she was probably a whore, and, um, yeah, she probably slept around. She probably don't even know what your, uh, what his name was, because he been with so many. Probably some of that grunting and droning stuff, and then the back of the barn, you know, or, you know, while they was working in the, in the field, like, got a little lump break, he thought he'd get him a little quitty, you know, uh, a little quitty, and that how your, uh, your great, great grandparent not here, and then your grandparent, they probably did the same thing, you know, but that's what happened there, that's his name, and then come from, <laughs> I want to know this plane, uh, this come from Lushness, Lanway, uh, from Tudor Falls, I'm the hoe, but I'm not the hoe. His mama from in the hoe. Anyway, uh, he asked Doctor Tom, "What is the most that I pay for a whore?" And that easy, Larry. I wouldn't pay for no whore. I mean, I ain't never paid for it. They always give it up for me for free. I mean, you want to see what I look like? I'd be like. Hey, mammy, you want to go for a little boat ride? And they're like, yeah, I get on that boat. And then I take them for a ride in the ocean. That's what I do. Let's see. Um, 
This town from Tandy in Norman, Kentucky. Oh, that when Tandy F. Lee started. I know me some Tandy F. Lee getting that, eating the creepy bread. Then I go home with another bread while I eating that chicken bread. And it's like, ooh, baby. Uh, but he asked me, can I give him the answer to his final exam? Oh, that's easy, Tandy. You need to pick three. Uh, you need to pick three, and sometimes, you know, and more times than not, I'm being the answer. And the reason I pick three is because it's another word for tuner. Now, now that's a good answer right there. Um, and this comes from Alex from Napanka, Kansas. Um, and they asked me, Oh, this is, oh, this is a stupid question, or a stupid answer, really. And Dr. Tom, why do some people think that the Earth is flat? Well, that's easy, Alex. That's because they number the box of rocks that fell down and didn't go nowhere. I mean, that's all that I can say about that. They ought to be hit in the head with that box of rocks, and maybe then they'll understand that the Earth is not flat, it's round. You know, but... That's because they dumb. But anyway, everybody, this has been Dr. Tom for today. And maybe this has been through with old, 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 old girl next time. And he might be here. If not, I'll talk with you on Monday. You can find this show, Dr. Tom. And this is my show. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, it'll be on Monday and Friday. And I got good plans for the weekend. I sure do. I'm going out with the, <clears throat> well, I can't say that because you don't know about her. And, um, I ain't got nothing planned for the weekend, uh-huh.